Hey guys, welcome back to Second Kick Moto and Auto. Today we're going to be doing a clutch on my Honda Shadow Aero 1100, so stick around and let's do it. Okay, so as you can see guys, I've got my Aero 1100 in here. It's uh, 1998. Now, uh, if you have stock exhaust, you probably have to take off your front pipe, or if it's a 2 into one you might have to take off the whole exhaust system, which means your running board might have to come off as well. Uh, I've got Vance and Heinz long shots on this bike, and uh, it is a little obscured, but I think I can get, uh, get an Allen wrench down in there, even just on a swivel socket. If I have to, I'll loosen this lower pipe bracket a bit and just lower it down or try and take the heat shield off, but I think I can get it without it. Um, which is lucky for me. Uh, I've seen that you can do this with actually not draining the oil. Um, I've done an oil change not too long ago, and I don't really want to do one right now, so I'm going to be extra clean and hopefully get away with not having to change the oil. Uh, we're almost at the end of riding season anyways, but uh, we got a big ride coming up in a couple of days, so I'm going to try and get this done because uh, it is slipping in almost every gear now. Um, it will run fine. And it will go down the road fine, but if you get on it to go quickly, like to pass a car or something, it slips like crazy. So uh, I've actually even noticed the fuel mileage dropping on the bike because it's slipping so much. So we've got uh, EBC clutch and Barnett springs. And most of that slipping is the fault of the springs. Uh, but you don't go in and just change springs, you always change everything. I've got this pan, it's nice and clean, and I'm actually going to put the new plates in there. And we're going to get them soaking in oil while I take the other ones apart and out. So uh, I'm going to get oil in there, I'm going to get these uh, Allen bolts out which are all the way around there and that cover will pop off. That's the really nice thing with these Honda bikes, you don't have to pull the whole side cover off. Um, it's just a matter of the uh, six or eight bolts that are there and uh, we should be good to go. Okay guys, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've taken the seven... Uh, five millimeter is your hex that you want to get the cover off. There's a nice point here if it's tacked a little bit You can just get behind the cover and pop it out with either a flathead screwdriver or a small pry bar. Just be gentle Next step is we're going to take these five This is where your clutch springs are and this is what holds the basket together So they're 10 mil We're going to take those off now. I want you to have a look at this Now your clutch will go fiber steel fiber steel, but the very last one is actually moved over one so uh, pay attention to that when you're putting your clutch back together and pay attention to how the rest of them come out just in case but uh, I think it's only this one if you look at the top of the basket it's just notched for the outside one but uh, that's obviously done for a reason so uh, don't forget to do that when you put it back together okay so I've got the last of the pressure plusher plate spring bolts coming out um, this is your clutch pressure springs as well so you have the bolt that comes out I try and keep them in somewhat order um, these springs are obviously leaving and they're what our problem is so they're weak um, so I'm gonna pull this plate off now Oh, I got the top plate with me so you can see there's the top plate and there's a steel plate so I'm actually going to set them back on this pressure plate as I pull them out in order and then when I put it back together every time I go to a fiber plate I'll put a new fiber plate on and toss the old one aside so as you can see these just come off And you'll have a steel plate, and it'll be like that right to the very back. Um, so I'm going to end up putting the phone down to do this, guys, because as it gets deeper, it's hard to get out. There is measurements if you want to get picky about your steel plates, too. Uh, I recommend getting a service manual if you're going to be doing work like this on your own bike. Uh, torque specs for these, while we're on it, are uh, 12 newton meters. I think that's about 9 foot-pounds. So uh, I've actually got 
these good little nose picker 2000s here and uh, I'll be gently going on either side to pull the plates out that are deep in okay so uh, once the new plates are on I will uh, come back to you okay so I got all the uh, oh geez I'm knocking them over uh, good I kept those in order uh, I got all the plates out um, the back one was really stuck in there actually uh, so if you're actually curious on how a clutch works this is your outside basket and uh, it's attached to the transmission which will give you your drive back to your wheel and this is your clutch I'm sorry that's the other way around this is attached to the engine this is attached to the transmission so this is when you pull the clutch in what actually happens is this pushes out which takes those the pressure off those springs which makes that spin a little freer and when you let the clutch back out that sucks everything in tightens it all up and tightens those fiber and steel plates up together and it makes everything drive it locks everything together so it drives and that's how your clutch works so uh, before I get all oily and dirty here I'm gonna get some rags and then I'm gonna start uh, with my clutch plates I have up there and I'm gonna start putting them back together and obviously your fiber plate goes in first and then steel and then fiber and vice versa until you get to the outside okay back soon here's the clutch back together now um, I obviously haven't put the springs or the uh, retaining bolts in yet but uh, like I said remember the last one goes in a different spot than the other fiber plates going in um, I'm gonna get these nice new Barnett clutch uh, springs in and uh, hopefully that helps. I noticed there's some discoloration in the very last steel plate. Uh, if it gives me any problems, well, I'll be taking this back apart and changing the steel plates. They did actually measure in spec, so I hope that's okay. Um, but this was definitely spinning and slipping. So, uh, okay, I'm going to get these unpackaged, get them in, get the bolts on. And like I said, they are 9 foot-pounds, which is 12 newton meters. Okay, and I'll be back right after that. Okay, so we've got our five clutch springs and bolts in on the pressure plate. And uh, I've got the cover here. Now the gasket luckily came off in one piece attached to the cover still. There's three dowel pins that go on. Um, as for the gasket, I would recommend buying one, replacing it as you do this clutch. It's cheap. Um, unfortunately, I don't have time to get one. I'm going riding tomorrow and the next day. I happen to have the clutch and springs here because I knew the clutch was starting to slip. I hadn't got a cover yet, a gasket yet. So probably winter when this bike's down, I'm going to be putting this uh, new cover on. Maybe I'll just get one in case it leaks anyways. Um, yeah, I just put a little bit of high temp silicone on here. Just a nice, very thin layer just to make sure that everything seals up. Um, you don't want to be gobby and you don't want it to get inside and inside the clutch. So just a very, very fine, thin layer. And that should seal it up no problem. So I'm going to put this cover on, put the seven hex bolts back in, and we're done. And there's the cover back on. Um, this was such a super easy clutch to do. Really appreciative of the Honda engineers when they built this bike. Uh, most bikes, you got to take the whole side cover off to get to the clutch underneath. The fact that they made an access panel just it, and you can get the clutch plates out and everything. Uh, my Harley's much the same with a nice big cover here, but it, you can only get in and adjust the clutch because the clutch sits lower, so you can't actually get the plates out. But uh, this is really nice, and uh, those Vance and Hines pipes, because they go so low, I was actually even able to get this. I didn't even have to loosen an exhaust or a shroud or anything. So uh, that's awesome. Um, I'm just going to see if I can spin you guys around. Yep, there we go. Sorry, guys, I'm sitting on the floor here still. Uh Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you. Uh, obviously, with new clutch plates, odds are I'm going to need to adjust the clutch. Um, I'm going to start the bike up, warm it up, put it in gear, see how it feels. If it needs an adjustment, that'll most likely be the next video. Um, we'll be in how to adjust the clutch on the arrow. Sorry, I'm not trying to get my hand in the way. I got the pit bike up on the lift. Uh, daughter broke the Kickstarter off of it, so that's going to be another upcoming video. Not to mention, I got a couple projects that uh, we are working on. Um, which videos will start being released on those soon too. So uh, 
Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you haven't yet and you like what you see, please subscribe. If you want to know when more content goes up right away, please tap that bell, and uh, we will see you soon. Cheers.